the Swiss superstar helped to create the competition which is named after the legendary Rod Laver. Federer has guided Team Europe to back-to-back -back titles since its inauguration in 2017, Nadal was missing last year due to injury woes, however, the Spaniard will be linking up with Federer this time round when proceedings get underway in Geneva. And Federer can't wait to play in his homeland. Novak Djokovic is closing in on Roger Federer's record, I'm so excited to be playing the Lava Cup here in Geneva, in my home country, it's a dream come true, Federer said, I'm super excited we have Rafa, Nadal, confirmed to play, we had a blast playing doubles together in Prague and it will be fantastic to team up together again and I'm sure Captain Borg will put together a world-class team alongside us, one of the very special things about the Lava Cup, and I think the one that resonates most with both the players and the fans, is how we get to team up with our traditional rivals, those players, we face across the net week in and week out on tour. Roger Federer is looking forward to linking up with Rafael Nadal, image, Getty, this also really comes across to the fans in the stadium and on TV as we work together as a team, cheering each other on, and even coaching each other, alongside our captains. From the team bench, Novak Djokovic is now closing in on Federer's impressive haul of 20 Grand Slam wins after winning the Australian Open. Federer, 37, struggled at the Melbourne Showpiece and was dumped out of the tournament by Greek rookie Stefanos Tsitsipas. Novak Djokovic is closing in on Roger Federer's record, image, Getty, the disappointing display saw him slip to sixth in the latest world rankings. Federer, however, says he isn't bothered given his advancing years, for me, the ranking, at 37 years old, is no longer really the priority, he explained. Roger Federer struggled at the Australian Open, image, Getty, but the idea for me is to be in good health, to know that I can win tournaments, to know that I can beat Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal, and after that it is a pleasure, even if my ranking goes down further, it's not a problem for me. As long as I say I can win a Grand Slam as I did two years ago with a world ranking of 17, everything is in place, I prefer to be ranked 17th than 3rd and not win a Grand Slam or tournament.